Saturday, the 17th of, oh, what is it? Saturday, the 17th of June. Um, we've woken up in St Ives and for some stupid reason, I completely forgot that the tide was going out. But of course it will go back in and as soon as it's in, we're whizzing off to Dublin. But right now, I need the loo and this really isn't the kind of place where I want to get the bucket out in full view of everyone. It's only 6.30 so I need to go and find, I need to go and find somewhere to go. So I just went to find some facilities walking back to the boat and realise how bizarre this actually is. Just our boat sitting in the middle of the beach. And there's people on the side just staring at it, wondering what's going on while Charlie busies himself around it. <laughs> Look at it, it's so funny. to waypoint yet? Yeah. Do that. Let's see, I'm doing the housework. Well done. <laughs> Having sand on the boat was um, really, really horrible. Not good. If sand have you, is... Have you been doing go to waypoint? Yeah, 2 p.m. and we are back on the road and today is an absolute scorcher. I had to put on my little UV top. It's a UV 50 top and it keeps my skin protected from the sun because I'm very, very sensitive. So I've come in to do some admin on my phone, do some video diaries, send them to Emu. But I left my phone on the deck and it's come up with a warning that it's that I'm not to use it because it's too hot and I'm to let it to cool down so now I haven't got anything to do but I'll probably just watch it until you go backwards and forwards just like I always do So too. Oh wow. That was, oh guys, that was beautiful. That was amazing. <gasps> oh. Oh, well, that's better than the last time. Right? Yeah. That and the water is just amazing. Five fifty in the afternoon and I've been having a sleep. I woke up to mild concern with the guys pretty much being on the collision course to a container ship and Charlie our skipper radioed over to give instructions that we would pass on a certain side but I think the driver of the ship misinterpreted and turned the wrong way but now we're safe. I think you must have heard Charlie say, you turn to port, rather than the castle. Bit touch and go there for a sec. Oh, I see, that was a bit... What's 
the etiquette now, Charlie? Do you um do you, do you acknowledge something or what's the she... etiquette now? Do you do you sort of do the same as you would in the car and wave? Do you, do you wave? <laughs> no, 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 you're in the car, you wave if somebody gets away from you. Oh, you are funny. Leslie. I didn't mean that. I mean, what's the equivalent? <laughs> oh, right. In ocean rowing speech, you raise your hand and say thank you. Good job we didn't hit that. We wouldn't have got to Dublin. past nine in the evening if you hadn't already guessed and this is how we have dinner <laughs> step off yours in the middle this is our living room this is where we boil our water guys get on tonight's dinner ladies and gentlemen <laughs> I've got crackers and an energy bar why are you turning your nose up? You've got... I've got chicken and mashed potato mousse. <gasps> mm. And to get... Like, to get, like baby food. To get the calories in, I'm going to eat coconut oil at the jar. Oh, right. Then I'm going to go to sleep, because me and Charlie have got a party to go to in two hours. We have, haven't we? It's fantastic. The communal area is just so it's great. Perfect timing. No size at all. Ain't no man. Feel as though we've got the routine down. So get off the oars, go to the toilet, have some food, and then as soon as I get in the cabin, I, I kind of I partially get dressed ready for my next shift. So then when I wake up, I'm near enough ready. So my next shift is gonna be 11 o'clock. So it's kind of the graveyard shift. So I need to be nice and warm. I'm going to get some kit because I'm terribly excited. I'm not sure I'll be able to sleep. It was such a good shift listening to music and watching the sunset. We were going quite fast as well. Right, see you in two hours. Armadillo Merino wall base layer, check. Head lenser, head torch, ready for my night shift, check. 11pm and... I didn't really sleep, kind of did, kind of didn't, and suddenly I don't really want to row as much as I did before, 